Okay, since everybody has their different ways of doing push rods, I just figured I'd show you the way I cut my push rods. I, I use this little tiny lathe because it's got a stop in the back. And when you put a push rod in it, a Volkswagen push rod, it ends up being just a hair too long. It, it hits the back and it's sticking out. So what I do is I stick in my measuring push rod in there, move the blade where I need it, and then line the blade up and then stick each push rod in there. And then I just spin it by hand because I'm not trying to cut with this lathe. It's too wimpy of a lathe. And then I use the blade to mark it. You can see my little marking line. Then I come over to my big lathe here and actually cut it. So this one, I'm just about there. bring this guy in and it just gets rid of the burr on the inside there you go and then I grab my file which I'm not going to try to do with one hand and then I just hit the edge there and get rid of that and then you take two lifters and tap them together but that's how I cut my push rods that way they're all exactly dead nuts the same length no matter what I mean unless I completely screw up when I'm cutting but um the idea here is to make it easy, and by deburring the inside with this guy, I don't know if you can see it, maybe you can. You can see, when you push the tip in, you can't tell which end of the push rod I cut. All right, how to do push rods, my way. Okay, so after I've cut the push rods, as you can see, and I've deburred it, the inside, and I deburred it with, if you notice the drill bit on the lathe, basically. And that cuts a little chamfer inside. Now, the reason why you want to do that is they undercut the head here. Sorry, this piece of crap phone. Oh, there you go. There's a little bit of a radius there. So if you don't cut that chamfer on the inside, your tip is going to protrude out and it won't sit flush. And then as you run it, your geometry or let's just say your valve adjusting will change as you go. Now, I've already assembled these two. But you can see because of all that, when it's all said and done, you can't tell which end... I installed and which end I didn't. There you go. So, and what I'll do is I'll take a lifter, take a push rod, stick it in the lifter, take my brass hammer, get the tip started in there, basically, in the end of it, and then put my other lifter on top of it and boop, and then start whacking it until you get it installed. And you can tell when it's all the way seated, mostly on a, a nice thick one. Now, these are a 95 thou thick one so you can definitely tell all right that's the way i do it and on this application here you go i'm all installed in fact i'm just doing my little valve lash now let's see which one's lash right here wait come on somebody's going to be lashed there you go this is on this is my race motor here so i'm going to start this up on the dyno so i'm going to set up a little loose to run it and then um go straight to uh putting in the car and then taking the chassis dyno all right so how to do push rods all right everybody have a beautiful beautiful day check out the website lowbucket.com and i'm trying to do more and more videos so um you might want to click on that notify button you know it's one little bell thing and it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and subscribe if you it's your first time finding me I do some pretty weird stuff on the Volkswagen stuff. Uh, this is a 450 horse um, uh, Phytech power. There's my fuel injection system. Uh, I say 450, but we all know it makes more than that. All right. If you see something, you have a question, ask me. I'll gladly tell you. Everybody have a beautiful, beautiful day.